What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. You know what it is. Your boy JP comes out with another how-to. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, this is what we do. Radio removals, car audio tutorials, all that good stuff. If you're into that type of thing, go ahead and consider subscribing. Hit that like button, share, comment, all that good stuff. Today, we have a 1994 Chevy Silverado. Uh, it's a pickup full size. I'm pretty sure this goes for 1990 all the way to 94. Uh, in 95, they started changing it. But I'm sure I take this radio out, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is take your pen and removal tool and we want to come at the bottom because that's where the clips are at and you want to pop that like this and you see that whole thing comes out now from this we are going to take out the vents we want to take these two vents i put them in the new dash kit uh if there's any clips that come off we we'll make sure we want to pull them out because we're going to use them on the new dash kit and we have two seven mils right here that we need to go ahead and take out so let's, that's one and that's two so i know what you're thinking easy enough right not necessarily so when we pull this out you're going to see a small little harness right here that unplugs but this is not the radio this is like the just the face of the radio the tuner of the radio is actually behind here so let me turn my light on all right y'all so this client's car truck actually had this part already off but you want to go under the steering column and remove this little panel and then you will see this silver box and this is going to be the tuner so these wiring harness are going all the way up to the back to go to the back of that radio so once we take this out we will actually find our gm 4001 harness and our antenna adapter right here so you're going to need to take out this seven mil that seven mil and that seven mil there's also one eight mil right here that's going to drop this little plate and drop the tuner to where we can get those harnesses out so let's All right, so since these harnesses are going through this hoop, I went on ahead and uh, took those out first. That way this can come out and then this can move. This is, well now, the radio can possibly come out that way right here. Get to move this down a tad bit more. Come up here and take out our antenna and this harness. There we go. So now we have the tuner out because it is sitting right here. I was able to pull that one out with the string that was plugged into the bottom. And we have our GM 4001 plugs that we are going to make sure we go back and come out of that hole right there. So what we're going to do is, so this is up under the, uh, under the dash. Uh, what I like to do, I'll push this wire forward as much as possible and then I'll take my wire harness that we need to fish over to that side and we'll push it over there because that's where it needs to go then what we'll do is we'll reach on the other side see if we can grab it and pull it out all right as you can see it is right there so reach in all right so our harness, we're gonna tack onto our other harness, but this is literally all you really need because we just need enough to actually hook our harness up to it. Now, the next thing that you guys need to do is we need to take this bracket out. There's one seven mil right here at the front, but there's also one seven mil right there in the back and there is another on the other side. All right, so I got my seven mil extension right here. I'm gonna go down and just kind of feel for my seven which is right over here. All right, I got that on there. Standing by itself. Now I'm gonna take my drill with my right angle, twist it down. I'm gonna use two hands, but I'll come back and actually screw it out so you can see what it looks like. All right, those are... All right got those two out now. Take that piece out like that. 
Now we have more room. I've already pulled my antenna up to the front. We got our G4001. And let's wire this bad boy up. All right, y'all, so when we're taking these vents out, you want to get like a pick tool. I got like a right angle uh, tool. And you want to come in right here. Take that little spring out. Once you do that, just pull it up. Don't lose it. But uh, this vent will just pop right up and out. And then we just, we just Place that in the new one. There we go. All right, y'all. So we already have our harness wired up, microphone, antenna, all that stuff is in the right spot. Next thing we want to do is we want to come up here. Slide those towards the top first. Then those clips that we took off the old dash kit, clip in right at the bottom. And now we got all that stuff right here. And then let's mount our radio. All right, y'all. That's what it looked like when it's all said and done. I know what you're thinking, man. I really didn't go over how to uh, wire up the radio. Well, the reason I do that is because I do a lot of these radio removals and wiring up the radio is the exact same way each time. So I wanna make these short, sweet, straight to the point for you guys, but for the guys who want to uh, find out how to do that type of stuff, I have made a video for that. It's in the corner and in the description. Teach you guys how to wire up a radio. Uh, all different kind of car audio how-tos are in that. So click those uh, cards and those links down uh, in the description. I was about to say downstairs. Also. All the links that I have, I mean, everything, the products that I've used, I will link that stuff in the description as well. So if you're working on your own truck, you know where to buy all your stuff and get the right products. Well, I hope I made your life, at least your install life, a little bit easier. If you found any value in this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Till next time, it's your boy JP signing out.